Shalom everyone, may the Lord bless you. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. This is I Am Church London and I am your host, Brother Kevin. Shalom to you all where you are. Thank you very much for joining us. May the Lord bless you all. Please kindly share the live stream links on your platforms that you are using, where you are following us, be it Facebook, be it YouTube. Please kindly share the links and invite someone to come and join us in the presence of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all. Please do not forget to follow us on all the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please also follow us on all the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. You can stay up to date with all the latest episodes, all the prayers, all the teachings that we are sharing through the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Shalom to you all where you are. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless your families. May the Lord bless your homes. So we are continuing with our theme on dreams. We're going to continue once again, dearly beloved, with intercession on seeds. We're going to do this for some time and then we're going to go on to something else. May the Lord bless you all. I'm going to do the opening prayer and we're going to share a quick verse. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and earth, We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come into your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your grace, your mercy, your love in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for your protection in our lives, in our homes, in our families, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word says you are near to all who call unto you, and you are near to all who call unto you in truth. Heavenly Father, we commit this moment of prayer into your hands. We commit, Heavenly Father, this short message we are about to share into your hands. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for your divine intervention to be at work in our favour through this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bind and we destroy every activity of the enemy, anything which may not give you glory, anything which may rise up in opposition to control, to attack, to manipulate or to dominate your children or to dominate myself. I pray in the name of Jesus that those works be rendered void and useless and we send it to the dry places in the name of Jesus. He gave us authority over the serpent and over the scorpion and over every force and every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. We declare by faith that we are victorious and we declare by faith that the enemy is defeated in the name of Jesus. We saw this prayer of the blood of Christ and we pray Lord that you reign Lord through this prayer. We pray Lord for your work Lord to be manifest Lord through this prayer. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all where you are. May the Lord bless you. So as you are all aware, dearly beloved, we are currently exploring the theme of dreams and alliances. And in our last episodes, we have been praying against seeds. We're going to continue praying against seeds and deposits, points of contacts. We're going to continue to cut off these connections, these stubborn connections that is refusing to let go of the children of God. But before we enter into our prayer, I want everybody to open the first book of Peter. Please, let's go to the first book of Peter in the New Testament. First book of Peter, and let's read from chapter 1. So, in this book, dearly beloved, Peter, the apostle of Jesus Christ, he talks to us about the heavenly inheritance that we have received through Christ Jesus. And he's talking to us about how we must live before God our Father. And he talks to us also about the word of God, which has given us new birth, which has given us right standing, the word of God, which abides forever. So let's open the first book of Peter, chapter one, and let's read from verses 12. No, let's read from verses 22, sorry. First book of Peter, chapter one, and let's read from verses 22. I'm reading the N. KJV version, New King James Version. May the Lord bless his word. So the word of God says, Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit, in sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart, having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. So that's the New King James Version. Let me just read also the NIV Version very quickly. 
The word of God says, now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. Dearly beloved, the word of God is imperishable. The word of God allows you and I to live. The word of God, dearly beloved, heals. The word of God delivers. The word of God restores. The word of God, dearly beloved, endures forever. God has said that he sent out his word and it healed us. And it snatched us from the door of death. Dearly beloved, the word of God is powerful. And the word of God is our armour and our protection. Apostle Paul tells Timothy in the second book of Timothy 1.14, he tells Timothy to guard the precious truth that he was taught, the precious truth that he received, the precious truth which is the word of God. He tells Timothy to guard it by and through the help of the Holy Spirit. Dearly beloved, I just wanted to say to you today, when evil words are pronounced against someone, those evil words, dearly beloved, they're not pronounced so that it can operate or be manifest in someone's life temporarily. No, it is pronounced in most cases indefinitely. And we see this example, dearly beloved, when we look at Noah. We see this example, dearly beloved, when Noah woke up and he realized what Ham had done to him. And instead of him saying something or pronouncing words against Ham, he blesses Shem, he blesses Japheth, but he curses Ham's youngest son, Canaan. Another example is when Jacob is blessing his sons in Genesis 49. And these words followed them, dearly beloved, into adulthood. It followed them, dearly beloved, for the rest of their lives. And which also goes back to even when God pronounced words against Cain for killing his brother if we go to our first verse that we read in the first book of peter the text shows us that the word of god is incorruptible and if we read the second book of timothy 1 14 that text dearly beloved shows us that words can be a deposit because if you read from 13 to timothy 1 13 it says what you heard from me Keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. So words, dear beloved, can be a deposit. And not only that, he's telling Timothy to guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit. So if someone receives words, dearly beloved, that are not good, there is always a spirit in someone that makes sure that those words stand. There is always a spirit in someone that makes sure that those words prosper, that those words are fulfilled. There is always a spirit. So this is why, dearly beloved, we need to make an effort to pray against every seed, every deposit, points of contact. We need to make an effort to pray against all these things. We need to make an effort, dearly beloved, to cancel these words, which are basically curses which are also laws. We need to make an effort to cancel these words, to remove every spirit that's inside of us, that's guarding these words, that's guarding these deposits in our lives. We need to make an effort to cut off that alliance, to cut off that tie, to cut off that communion, to cut off that connection in the name of Jesus. Because if you read throughout the Old Testament, in the book of Ezekiel, Jeremiah, in the books of the judges, the kings, if you read these books a lot of the texts dearly beloved the verses they say the word of the lord came to me the word of the lord came to for example samuel the word of the lord came to ezekiel the word of the lord came to jeremiah so dearly beloved the enemy copies this same principle the enemy copies this exact same thing the enemy sends out words words dearly beloved travels Words, dearly beloved, can be pronounced in one place and it can travel to another place. God has said that his words do not return to him void. So when God pronounces his word, it has to produce fruit. The enemy also, because the enemy is very prideful and the enemy doesn't like defeat, 
and the enemy doesn't like to look weak but they're already defeated and they're already weak because Jesus has won the victory the enemy does the exact same thing the enemy wants their words also to be fulfilled but this is only possible when there is a seed or an existing deposit this is only successful dearly beloved when there is a point of contact this is only successful dearly beloved when there is an open door for seeds dearly beloved deposits points of contacts dearly beloved they're basically like open doors in people's lives so we need to dearly beloved make an effort to pray and remove all of these things that the enemy has planted inside of us because dearly beloved when there is no point of contact there is no attack when there is no point of contact the enemy has no way to control when there is no point of contact, the enemy has no way to manipulate you. When there is no point of contact, the enemy has no way to dominate you or to monitor you or to influence you or to imprison you. And dearly beloved, we are going to break, we are going to burn that bridge so that we can see the hand of God in our lives, in our families, in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you all. Just for a short message that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope somebody is blessed and I hope somebody has received some insight and some understanding. Shalom to you all where you are. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. So please, dearly beloved, share the live stream link. Please do not forget to follow us on the major streaming platforms. Please do not forget to follow us on the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. So let's begin to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord Jesus. Thank him for his grace. Thank him for his favor. Thank him for his protection. Thank him for his overwhelming victory he has given to you in Christ Jesus. Thank him, dearly beloved, for he is the same yesterday. He is the same forever. Thank him in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we lift your name on high. In the name of Jesus, because you are the same yesterday, you are the same today and the same forever. Thank you, Lord. Your word says, may every living thing that breathes praise the lord dearly beloved thank the lord for everything that he has done thank him for his goodness thank him for his wonderfulness praise his name exalt his name glorify his name magnify his name and lift him up in the name of jesus begin to plead dearly beloved for his mercy in your life for his word says he is a compassionate god he is a merciful god he is slow to get angry and he is filled with unfailing love pray in the name of jesus and plead for his mercy for his word says that those who hide their transgressions they will not prosper but those who turn away from them and abandon them they shall find mercy before his sight plead for his mercy in your life in the name of jesus for his word says that he will forgive our wickedness and he will never again remember our sins father in heaven forgive us for the sinful nature for the worldly desires the lusts of the flesh the youthful pleasures which caused us to fall short of your glory which made us come out of your presence forgive us your children in the name of jesus christ begin to plead for the blood of christ dearly beloved for his word says in the mighty name of Jesus, we have come to Jesus, who is the mediator of the new covenant between God and people and to the sprinkled blood which speaks of forgiveness instead of crying out for vengeance like the blood of Abel for the word of God also says if we are living in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with each other and he cleanses us in the blood of Jesus Christ his son plead for the blood of Christ in the name of Jesus plead for the blood of Christ in the name of Jesus plead for the blood of Christ to wash you to purify you to sanctify you to cleanse you in the name of Jesus for the word of God says dearly beloved this is my blood which confirms the covenant between God and his people it is poured out to, for the forgiveness of sins of many it is poured out as a sacrifice for many plead for the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ and begin to invite the Holy Spirit dearly beloved for the word of God says we were washed and we were sanctified we were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God plead for the blood of Jesus plead for the blood of Jesus and invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus say Holy Spirit we are inviting you come and take control and and come and reign and come and rule and come and dominate in the name of Jesus for your word says in the name of Jesus Christ those who are led by the spirit of God they are the children of God in the name of Jesus for your word says father in the name of Jesus Christ that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you'll be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria to the 
ends of the earth. Holy Spirit, we are inviting you. Manifest your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Manifest your power in the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says, in the name of Jesus, those who are joined to the Lord are one spirit with him. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray every channel the enemy is using inside of my home to control my home, to dominate my home, to manipulate my home, to imprison my home, to transform my home, to transform my home, to judge my home, to attack my home. I am commanding in the name of Jesus for that channel to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray where you are dearly beloved. Every channel the enemy is using inside of your home to control your home, to manipulate your home, to dominate your home, to transform your home, to attack your home, to influence your home. Command that channel to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every door the enemy has opened inside of your home. Door of earthly spirits. Door of terrestrial spirits. Door of water spirits. Door of spirits of animals. Door of spirits of sorcery. Door of spirits from the world of the dead. Doors, dearly beloved, that the enemy has opened inside of your home. Command those doors to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare me and my household. We shall serve the Lord. Declare the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him in the name of Jesus. Command that door to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Every door, every channel the enemy is using which is carrying out the mission of the enemy inside of my home. Every channel the enemy is using which is responding to enchantments, to incantations, which is responding to bewitchments, which is responding to evil words. I am commanding that channel to be consumed and to be devoured by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus and cut that connection off in the name of Jesus. Whatever is serving as a point of contact inside of your home, command it, dearly beloved, to be consumed and to be devoured by fire. The word of God says, therefore, do not be partakers with them. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every channel the enemy is using inside of your home, everything that is responding to the voice of the enemy inside of your home, everything that is carrying out the mission of the enemy inside of your home, everything that is serving as an access point inside of your home or a point of contact. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ that connection is broken and command that point of contact in your home to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray dearly beloved, whatever the enemy uses in the kingdom of darkness inside of my home, whatever the enemy uses for bewitchments inside of my home pray in the name of Jesus and command it to be consumed command it to be devoured command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ pray dearly beloved in the mighty name of Jesus every representation of the kingdom of darkness every representation of household witchcraft every representation of spirits from the forest every representation of water spirits every representation of spirits of the dead spirits of the world of the dead inside of your home command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says, don't you realize that your bodies are actually temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God. You no longer belong to yourself for you have been bought at a high price in the name of Jesus. Therefore, you must glorify God in your body and in your spirit in the name of Jesus. Pray dearly beloved. The word of God says, God, the good deposit that was entrusted to you, guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in you in the name of Jesus. The word of God says those who are joined to the Lord are one spirit with him. The word of God says in the name of Jesus Christ those who belong to the Lord do not make a practice of sinning because God's life is inside of them. In the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved in the mighty name of Jesus every seed every deposit every point of contact that's planted inside of me through my blood that is connecting me to the altar of my origin that is connecting me to the altars of household witchcraft that is connecting me to my place of birth that is connecting me to my hometown that is connecting me to idols that is connecting me to divinities that is connecting me to agents who are working at the altar in my origin I am praying in the name of Jesus Christ the those seeds to be devoured by fire in the name of Jesus command those seeds to be devoured by fire command those seeds to be devoured by fire in the name of Jesus Christ command those seeds to be devoured completely by 
by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, command those seeds to be devoured by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, command those seeds to be devoured by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, command those seeds to be devoured by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, command those seeds to be devoured by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, 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 burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Every seed, dearly beloved, that is serving as a point of contact between your soul, between your soul and the altar of your origin, command that seed to be evacuated by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deposit that's inside of your blood, every deposit that's inside of your blood that's connecting you, that's connecting your soul, that's connecting your blood to the altar of your origin, that's connecting your soul, that's connecting your blood to the idols, to the divinities that dominate in your origin. Command them, command them, command them, command their deposits, command their seeds to be consumed, to be devoured by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, 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 command those deposits to be devoured by fire. In the name of Jesus, every deposit and every seed, dearly beloved, that you have received from the altar of your origin, every seed, every deposit that is representing the altars of your origin, that is representing household witchcraft, that is representing the idols, the divinities that are worshipped in your origin, command their deposits and their seeds, command their points of contact that's in your blood to be evacuated by fire, be evacuated by fire in the name of Jesus. The word of God says every plant not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn no seeds in the name of Jesus. 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 Burn up those seeds in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn those seeds in the mighty name of Jesus. Command those seeds to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command those seeds. Command those deposits to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deposit and every seed and every point of contact that's connecting my soul, that's connecting my blood to the altar of my father's house, that's connecting my soul, that's connecting my blood to the altar of my mother's house, that's connecting my soul, that's connecting my blood to the altars in my place of birth, to the altars in my hometown, to the altars in the house of alliances. I am commanding those seeds, I am commanding those points of contact and I am commanding those deposits to be devoured and to be consumed completely by fire in the name of Jesus. For the word of God says, the weeds are pulled up and they are burnt in the fire. In the name of Jesus, the weeds are pulled up and they are burnt in the fire. In the name of Jesus, pray dearly beloved, every word pronounced by the evil altars in your father's house, every word pronounced by the evil altars in your mother's house, every word pronounced dearly beloved by the evil altars in your place of birth or in your hometown that has planted deposits, that has planted seeds, that has planted burdens, points of contacts inside of you, that has transferred demons inside of you, command them in the name of Jesus to be devoured by fire, 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 command them to be devoured by fire, command them to be devoured by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, command them in the mighty name of Jesus to be devoured by fire, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, command them to be devoured by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, command them to be devoured by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, every evil word, every evil word, every evil word pronounced by the altars of my origin, pronounced by the masters of sorcery, the masters of witchcraft, pronounced by the strong men, the strong women of sorcery, the strong men, the strong women of witchcraft, pray in the name of Jesus, every seed, every deposit, every point of contact, their words has planted inside of you, that is connecting you to their altars, that is connecting you to their gods, that is connecting you to their idols, command those deposits to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ, command those deposits to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ, burn those deposits, burn it by fire, burn it by fire, burn it by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus, burn it by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus, burn it by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus, burn it by fire.
fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is for our God. He's a devouring fire. The word of God is for the Lord your God. He's a consuming fire. The word of God is he will transform his word in our mouths like fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Every seed, every deposit, every point of contact that is planted inside of you dearly beloved that is leading you astray, that is making you perish. The word of God says in the name of Jesus Christ that we have been born again not of perishable seed but of imperishable seed through the living and enduring word of God pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ every evil word every evil decree every evil curse every curse every law every law every evil declaration that has planted deposits and seeds and points of contacts inside of me inside of my blood inside of my blood that is making me perish I command you to listen to the word of God the Bible says I have been born again I have been born again not by perishable seed in the name of Jesus but of imperishable in the name of Jesus the word of God the word of God which is alive the word of God which endures forever in the name of Jesus replace those seeds replace those deposits in the name of Jesus Christ replace those seeds replace those deposits in the name of Jesus Christ lift up your voice and pray in the mighty name of Jesus every seed every deposit every point of contact transferred inside of you planted inside of you through the altar or by the altars of your origin declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you have been born again 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 not by perishable seed not by perishable seed but by imperishable seed in the name of Jesus 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 burn no seeds in the name of Jesus Christ burn no seeds in the mighty name of Jesus burn no seeds in the mighty name of Jesus burn no seeds in the mighty name of Jesus every seed dearly beloved from the altar of your origin every seed dearly beloved from the altar of your origin every seed dearly beloved from the altar of your origin every seed dearly beloved from the divinities from the idols every seed dearly beloved that is representing household witchcraft inside of you command it to be devoured by fire in the name of Jesus Christ command it to be devoured by fire in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved pray in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and pray in the name of Jesus command that seed to be burnt up by fire command that seed to be burnt up by fire command that seed to be burnt up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ burn that seed by fire 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 in the mighty name of Jesus burn that seed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ law of sorcery law of witchcraft every seed every deposit every point of contact that you have planted in my blood that you have planted in my blood that is connecting me to the altar of my origin that is connecting me to the idols to the divinities that are worshipped in my origin I declare in the name of Jesus I declare in the name of Jesus I declare in the name of Jesus that I am born again I am born again I am born again I am born again not of perishable seed I am born again I am born again I am born again I am born again not of perishable seed but of imperishable seed through the living and enduring word of God in the name of Jesus Christ pray dearly beloved in the name of Jesus every seed every deposit every point of contact the master the tyrants of witchcraft the master the tyrants of sorcery the strong men the strong women of your household the strong men the strong women of your origin have planted inside of you have planted in your soul have planted in your blood that is connecting you to the altar of your origin command their seeds command their deposits command their points of contact command their burdens that is inside of you to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus every spirit every demon that is inside of me that is making sure that deposit that seed that point of contact stands that is making sure that those evil words stand I command you in the name of Jesus receive fire come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ come out by fire come out by fire come out by fire in the mighty name of Jesus command them to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ command them to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ command them dearly beloved to come out completely by fire the word of God says behold they shall be a stubble and the fire shall burn them and they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame it shall not be a coal to be warmed by nor a fire to sit before command them to come out by fire 
in the name of Jesus. Command them to come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Command them to come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Command them to be burnt up by fire. Command them to be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that the strong man, the strong woman of sorcery has transferred inside of you. Every spirit, the strong man and strong woman who has an alliance with water spirits has transferred inside of you. Every deposit, every seed, every point of contact that they have planted inside of you to control you, to manipulate you, to dominate you, to imprison you from a distance, to influence you, to enchant you, to bewitch you from a distance. Command their deposits and their seeds and their points of contact that's connecting you to their gods to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command their seeds, command their deposits to be evacuated by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. Declare what union can there be between God's temple and idols. Command those deposits that's creating union to be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deposit, every seed, every point of contact that is an open door in my blood. That is an open door in my blood to the kingdom of darkness. That is an open door to water spirits. That is an open door to spirits of sorcery, to spirits from the forest, to spirits of animals, to spirits from the world of the dead. I am commanding you in the name of Jesus. Receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn those seeds up by fire. Burn those seeds up by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Burn those seeds. Burn those seeds. Burn those seeds. Holy Spirit, manifest your power. Holy Spirit, manifest your power. You said that we are born again, not by a perishable seed. Holy Spirit, manifest your power. Holy Spirit, manifest your power. Holy Spirit, manifest your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil deposit, every seed, every point of contact that has been planted inside of me through words of poverty, through words of debt, through words of sickness, through words of rejection, through words of celibacy, through words of divorce, through words of stagnation, through words of regression, every seed, every deposit, every point of contact that the law of sorcery has planted inside of me, that the law of the serpent has planted inside of me, that the law of the strong man, the law of the strong woman, the law from the water, the law from the forest, the law from the symmetry, the law of spirits of animals has planted inside of me. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for that seed, for that deposit, for that point of contact to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray dearly beloved, what is giving the kingdom of darkness access into your soul? What is giving the kingdom of darkness access to your blood? Pray in the name of Jesus Christ, every access point, every grain, every germ, every seed, every form of contamination, every deposit, every point of contact that's in my blood that is allowing the kingdom of darkness to have access to me that is allowing the kingdom of darkness to have access to my soul to have access to my dreams to have access to my destiny i am commanding those seeds i am commanding those points of contact i am commanding those deposits to be devoured by fire in the name of jesus christ devour it by fire 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 in the name of jesus devour it by fire in the name of jesus devour it by fire in the name of jesus devour it by fire in the name of jesus devour it by fire devour it by fire devour it by fire in the name of jesus devour it by fire in the name of jesus devour it by fire in the name of jesus devour it by fire in the name of jesus pray dearly beloved what is allowing water spirits to have access to your blood what is allowing spirits from the forest to have access to your blood what is allowing spirits from the symmetry to have access to your blood what is allowing dearly beloved spirits from the world of the dead to have access to your blood pray dearly beloved and command those deposits that is in your blood those seeds that are in your blood those points of contact that is in your blood that altar that is in your blood that demon that is in your blood command them to receive fire command them to come out by fire come out by fire come out by fire come out by fire and I declare that connection is broken in the name of Jesus for I have been born again not by perishable seed but imperishable in the name of Jesus command that deposit and command that seed to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ command them to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ command them to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ pray dearly beloved in the mighty name of Jesus every seed and every deposit every point of contact has entered through spiritual marriages command it to be evacuated by fire be evacuated by fire be evacuated by fire be evacuated by fire every seed and every deposit every point of contact that is planted inside of you dearly beloved that is connecting you to the altar of your origin that is connecting you dearly beloved to the idols 
to the divinities, to the false gods in your origin. Command those seeds, those deposits, those points of contacts that you have received through spiritual marriages to be evacuated by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, the word of God says the weeds are pulled up and they are burned in the fire. In the name of Jesus, deposit of poverty, deposit of death, deposit of disease, deposit of rejection, deposit of celibacy, divorce, every seed, every deposit of failure, command it to come out by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, command it to come out by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, command it to come out by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, burn that seed up, dearly beloved. Burn that point of contact. Burn that deposit. In the name of Jesus Christ, command it to come out by fire. Every seed, every deposit that you have received through spiritual marriages, every seed, every deposit, dearly beloved, that you have received, dearly beloved, in your dreams, that you have received, dearly beloved, physically, that you have received, dearly beloved, through spiritual marriages. Command those seeds to come out by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, command those seeds to come out by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray, dearly beloved, pray, dearly beloved, every agent of Satan who has married you in the kingdom of darkness, every agent of Satan who is attached to you in a marriage in the kingdom of darkness, every agent of Satan who has attached you to their altar in a spiritual marriage, every agent of Satan who calls you their husband, who calls you their wife in the kingdom of darkness, every agent of Satan who declares that you are tied, you are connected in a spiritual marriage through an alliance of sorcery, through an alliance of the serpent, through an alliance with water spirits, every agent of Satan who is reclaiming you in a marriage in the kingdom of darkness, command every seed and every deposit and every point of contact that is representing them inside of you to come out by fire, come out by fire, come out by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, command that seed to come out by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, burn that seed by fire, burn that seed by fire, burn that seed by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, every seed that you have inherited, every seed that you have received through spiritual marriages, every seed dearly beloved that you have inherited, every seed that you have received through sexual intercourse, command those seeds and those deposits and those points of contact that the enemy has planted in your blood, command it to come out by fire in the name of Jesus, come out by fire, come out by fire, come out by fire, come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, burn that seed up by fire, burn it up by fire, burn it up by fire in the might's name of Jesus, burn it up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, burn it up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, burn that seed up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, burn that seed by fire, burn that seed by fire, command that seed to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ, burn that seed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus, command that seed to come out by fire, every spirit husband, every spirit wife from your origin, who is someone who is alive, who is someone that you know, who is attached to you, who is married to you in the kingdom of darkness, who reclaims you through their deposits, through their seeds, through their points of contact, who reclaims you through their contract, who reclaims you through their alliance that they have with you in the kingdom of darkness. Pray, dearly beloved, against everything that they have planted inside of you, everything that they have planted in your genital organs, in your reproductive organs. Command it, dearly beloved, to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out by fire, 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 come out by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Command their seeds in the name of Jesus Christ to come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Burn their seeds by fire, burn their seeds by fire, burn their seeds by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn their seeds by fire, burn their seeds by fire, burn their seeds by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command their seeds in the name of Jesus to receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn their seeds by fire in the name of Jesus, burn their seeds by fire in the name of Jesus, burn their seeds by fire in the name of Jesus. Command their seeds to receive fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, command their seeds to be consumed, to be devoured by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, burn their seeds up by fire. Burn their seeds by fire. Burn their seeds by fire. Every seed that you have received, dearly beloved, through spiritual marriages. Every seed that you have received, dearly beloved, through evil dreams. Command those seeds to come out by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, burn those seeds by fire. Burn those seeds. Burn those seeds. Burn those seeds. In the mighty name of Jesus, burn those seeds by fire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus, burn those seeds by fire, burn 
command those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command those seeds to come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Command those seeds to come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command those seeds to come out by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Command those seeds to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Burn those seeds, dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every seed, dearly beloved, of sorcery, every seed of witchcraft that's in your blood, that controls you, that dominates you, that manipulates you, that serves, dearly beloved, as an access point so attacks can come through. Every seed, dearly beloved, that makes you accept, that makes you say yes to darkness, to evil in your dreams. Command that seed that is connecting you to the altar of your origin to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that seed to receive fire. Command that seed to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that seed to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Pray dearly beloved, every deposit, every point of contact that is serving the enemy in my organs, I'm commanding you to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, pray what is serving the enemy in your organs, what is serving the enemy in your organs. Command it to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deposit, every seed and every point of contact that is planted in my blood, that is planted in my soul, that is planted in my organs, that is serving the enemy, that is serving thrones of sorcery, that is serving thrones of sirens, that is serving thrones of the queen of the coast, that is serving altars, that is serving idols and divinities. Command those deposits in your blood, in your organs, that command those deposits in your soul to receive fire, receive fire, receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to come out by fire, come out by fire, come out by fire, come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command those deposits to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command those deposits to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command those deposits to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deposit and every seed, every point of contact that is planted in your blood, that is planted in your organs, that is serving, that is serving the throne of the family, that is serving the throne of the family, that is serving the throne of friends, ex-partners, that is serving the throne of throne, the throne, the throne of friends and ex-partners. Command it to come out by fire, come out by fire, come out by fire, come out by fire, come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Command it to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray dearly beloved every seed, every point of contact, every deposit that you have received from friends, ex-partners that is making you serve them, that is making you serve their gods, that is making you serve their idols, that is making you serve their divinities, that is making you serve their altars, that is making you serve their thrones, that is making you serve, that is making you obey their laws, command their deposits to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Every plant not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted. The word of course is for our God is a consuming fire. Burn their seeds, burn their seeds, burn their seeds, burn their seeds, burn their seeds in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of course is you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him in the name of Jesus. Pray dearly beloved with everything that the enemy has planted inside of you that is serving sirens, that is serving the serpent, that is serving, that is serving divinities in the form of animals, that is serving mermaids, that is serving the queen of the coast, every seed, every deposit, every point of contact that is planted inside of you, that is serving the altar in the water, that is serving the altar in the forest, that is serving the altar in the symmetry, that is serving spirits, that is serving spirits, that is serving spirits, that is serving spirits in the mountains, in the valleys, command those deposits to receive fire, in the name of Jesus, receive fire, in the name of Jesus, every seed I have inherited through my father's blood, every seed I have inherited through my mother's blood, that is making me serve the family throne, that is making me serve the family idol, that is making me serve the family divinities, that is making me serve the family totems, that is making me serve the family law, that is making me serve the family curse, I am commanding that deposit and that seed that has come from the alliance to receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray dearly beloved, every seed that is making you easily identifiable in the kingdom of darkness, every seed, every deposit that is making you identifiable in the kingdom of darkness, every seed dearly beloved that has marked you, every deposit that has marked you, every point of contact that has marked you, every seed, every grain, every germ the enemy has planted inside of you that has made you dearly beloved easily identifiable, easily traceable. Command that seed to receive fire. Command that seed to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that seed to come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray dearly beloved every deposit.
deposit and every seed, every point of contact the enemy has planted inside of you, dearly beloved, that is making you serve the altar of household witchcraft, that is making you serve the thrones of household witchcraft, that is making you serve the laws, the curses, the condemnations, that is making you accept and obey, accept and obey evil reclamations, command in the name of Jesus Christ for those seeds to be evacuated by fire, be evacuated by fire, be evacuated by fire, be evacuated by fire, evacuate that seed, evacuate that seed, evacuate that seed, every deposit in your organs that is serving the throne of your family, that is serving the throne of exes, the throne of friends, command those deposits to receive fire, command those seeds to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ and declare that alliance is broken in the name of Jesus Christ, declare dearly beloved that you are born again, you are born again, not by perishable seed in the name of Jesus Christ, declare dearly beloved, perishable seed has no place inside of you burn those seeds by fire burn those seeds by fire burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus Christ burn those seeds by fire burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus Christ burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus Christ burn those seeds by fire burn those seeds by fire burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus Christ burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus Christ burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus burn those seeds by fire burn those seeds by fire in the name of Jesus, burn no seeds, burn no seeds, burn no seeds by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, every deposit, every seed that is planted in your organs, that is planted in your soul, that is planted in your blood, that is making you serve the family throne, that is making you serve the family idols, the family divinities, that is connecting you to the kingdom of darkness, that is connecting you to the altar of your origin. Command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn that seed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Burn that seed by fire. Burn that deposit by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says we are born again, not of perishable seed, not of corruptible seed, but of imperishable, but of incorruptible through the living and enduring word of God in the name of Jesus say I live by the living and enduring word of God say I live by the living and enduring word of God in the name of Jesus I am born again by the living and enduring word of God I am born again by the living and enduring word of God every deposit every seed every point of contact that has been transferred inside of me from the altars of my origin from the altars of household witchcraft from the strong men from the strong women of household witchcraft from the strong men and strong women of my origin, from the strong men and strong women from the houses of alliances, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ for those deposits to be evacuated by fire in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that the Lord will transform his word in my mouth like fire in the name of Jesus. And the word of God says, behold, they shall be a stubble and the fire shall burn them. The word of God says he will devour the thorns and briars with fire, burning up the enemy in a single night. Pray in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, dearly beloved, you are born again by the living and enduring word of God. We are born again by the living and enduring word of God. The word of God says, we were washed, we were sanctified, we were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. In the name of Jesus, the word of God says, dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, we're not born again, not of perishable seed, but of, but of imperishable. In the name of Jesus, burn every seed that is perishable inside of you every seed dearly beloved that is corruptible inside of you every seed dearly beloved that is making you reclaimable through household witchcraft that is making you reclaimable through household witchcraft that is making you reclaimable through alliances that is making you reclaimable through soul ties burn those seeds burn those deposits burn those points of contact in the name of Jesus Christ burn it by fire in the name of Jesus command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus every seed every deposit every point of contact dearly beloved that is making you reclaimable that is making you dearly beloved reclaimable through alliances that is making you reclaimable through altars that is making you reclaimable through your dreams that is making you reclaimable dearly beloved that is making you reclaimable through the family law through the family condemnation the family curses command those seeds in the name of Jesus Christ to be burnt up by fire in the name of Jesus be burnt up by fire in the name of Jesus the word of God
God says Jesus is saying that the enemy is coming but nothing of the enemy is inside of me in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved what is making you reclaimable in the kingdom of darkness the word of God says you are born again not of perishable seed but of imperishable burn those seeds up in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says we Christ we have a better covenant with Christ we have a better covenant burn those seeds up burn those deposits up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ everything that the enemy has planted inside of you through spiritual marriages every seed every deposit that you have received dearly beloved through food in the dreams command it to be evacuated by fire be evacuated by fire in the name of Jesus Christ say alliance of sorcery alliance of spirits from the water alliance of spirits of animals alliance of spirits from the world of the dead alliance of spirits of the dead what seed what deposit what point of contact have you transferred have you planted inside of me what seed what deposit what point of contact have you transferred in my blood I declare in the name of Jesus Christ when God speaks of a new covenant it means he has made the first one obsolete it is now out of date it will soon disappear the word of God says he ended the first covenant in order to put a second into effect in the name of Jesus the word of God says we are the children of the prophets and we are included in a covenant he promised to our ancestors for he said to Abraham through your descendants all the families on earth will be blessed evacuate every seed every deposit every point of contact of manipulation that is inside of you evacuate it by fire evacuate it by fire evacuate it by fire evacuate it by fire and declare that connection is broken in the name of Jesus because with Christ you have a better covenant with God you have a better covenant declare in the name of Jesus Christ that connection that communion is broken in the name of Jesus Christ for the word of God says let not my soul enter into their cancel let not my honor be united into their assembly evacuate that seed evacuate that seed in the name of Jesus Christ evacuate that seed 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 by fire in the name of Jesus Christ evacuate that seed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ evacuate that seed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ evacuate that seed in the name of Jesus Christ evacuate that seed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ evacuate that seed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ evacuate that seed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ evacuate that seed by fire evacuate that seed by fire evacuate that seed by fire in the name of Jesus burn that seed by fire burn that seed by fire burn that deposit by fire burn that point of contact by fire in the name of Jesus Christ pray dearly beloved every spirit every divinity every authority that is inside of you that is making sure that those points of contact that those seeds that those deposits do not come out command that authority transferred by witchcraft command that authority transferred by marine witchcraft command that authority transferred by water spirits command that authority transferred from the world of the dead command that authority transferred by spirits of the world of the dead to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ command that authority to come out by fire come out by fire come out by fire come out by fire every authority that is inside of you that is making sure that no point of contact comes out that is making sure that no seed no grain no germ no deposit comes out command that authority that is transferred inside of you that authority that is in the form of an animal command that authority to receive fire receive fire that authority that is in the form of a siren that authority that is in the form of a queen of the coast that authority that is in the form of an idol that is in the form of a divinity every authority of sorcery every authority that sorcery has sent inside of you every authority that marine sorcery has sent inside of you every authority that water spirits that the altars from the water has sent inside of you every authority dearly beloved that the altars from the water that the alliance of water spirits has transferred inside of you that is making sure that no deposit that no seed that no point of contact can come out command them to receive fire command them to receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire in the name of Jesus receive fire in the name of Jesus burn their hiding place burn their hiding place burn their hiding place burn their hiding place in the name of Jesus every hiding place that the authorities of sorcery have planted have built in my body every hiding place that the authorities of witchcraft have planted have built in my body every hiding place every 
every fortress, every hiding place, every fortress, spirits of the water have planted, have built, have established inside of me. Every hiding place, every fortress, the altar of the water spirits, the altar in the water has planted inside of you. Every hiding place, every hiding place, every hiding place that water spirits, that the alliance of water spirits has planted, has established, has built up inside of you. Command that hiding place to receive fire. He smashes down gates of bronze. He cuts through bars of iron. Command that hiding place to receive fire. Command that fortress in your body to receive fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, burn that hiding place. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, burn that hiding place. Burn that hiding place. Burn that hiding place in your body. Every hiding place in your blood. Every hiding place. The authorities of sorcery. The authorities of sorcery have established in your body. Every hiding place. The altar in the water has established in your body. Every hiding place. The water spirits. Every hiding place of the siren, of the mermaid, of the queen of the coast in your body that is making sure that their deposits, that their seeds, their point of contact can always be inside of you so that they can have communion, so that they can control you, so that they can manipulate you, so that they can use you. Command their hiding places to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ for our God is a devouring fire in the name of Jesus for our God is a devouring fire in the name of Jesus for his word says in the name of Jesus Christ I will fight for you. You remain silent in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Burn their hiding places, burn their hiding places, burn their hiding places. Every authority transferred in my body from the kingdom of darkness. Every authority, the altar of my origin has sent inside of me who is making sure that no deposit, that no seed, that no point of contact can come out of me. Command that hiding place, command that hiding place, command that fortress, command their throne, command their altar that they have planted inside of you to receive fire, 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 receive fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable. In the name of Jesus, through the living and enduring word of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, command that altar, command that throne, command that hiding place, command that fortress that they have planted inside of you to receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. In the name of Jesus, command it to receive fire, 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 command it to receive fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, burn it up by fire, 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 burn it up by fire. Seed of the siren, seed of the serpent, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. Receive fire, 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 receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn that seed up by fire, burn that seed up by fire, burn that seed up by fire, burn that seed up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that seed to be evacuated by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, dearly beloved, every deposit, every seed from the altar of your father's village, every deposit, every seed from the altar in your place of birth, from the altar in your home town receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ burn that seed in the mighty name of Jesus command that seed to come out by fire declare that connection is broken because you are born again not of perishable seed but of imperishable you are born again not of corruptible seed but of incorruptible in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and this seed is the living and enduring word of God in the name of Jesus Christ burn no seeds burn no seeds burn no seeds in the mighty name of Jesus command those deposits to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ command those deposits to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ every deposit in the name of anger every deposit in the name of rage every deposit in the name of envy in the name of jealousy every deposit in the name of lust every deposit in the name of sexual immorality every deposit in the name of outbursts of anger in the name of pride in the name of stubbornness in the name of covetousness command those deposits in the name of Jesus Christ to receive fire 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 
fire to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ command those deposits command those seeds command those points of contact to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ every point of contact that is connecting me to the altar in my origin that is connecting me to the altar in my place of birth that is connecting me to the altar in my hometown I command that seed to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare that connection is broken in the name of Jesus because I am born again not of perishable seed but of imperishable in the name of Jesus 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 Jesus. command that seed to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ declare that seed is replaced I'm replacing that point of contact I'm replacing that deposit I'm replacing that seed that the enemy planted in my organs in the name of Jesus Christ I'm replacing every seed every deposit every point of contact that is planted in my organs that is making me serve the enemy I replace that seed I replace that seed I replace that seed I replace that seed with the imperishable seed I replace that seed with the incorruptible seed the living and enduring word of God I replace that seed with the seed of the Holy Spirit I replace that seed with the seed with the deposit of grace of life of peace of victory of joy of purity of sanctification in the name of Jesus I replace that seed I replace that deposit with the seed of holiness in the name of Jesus Christ I replace that seed with the seed of freedom in the name of Jesus Christ for we are children of the free woman we are not children of the slave woman in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved replace that seed in the name of Jesus Christ for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him in the name of Jesus declare I am not a slave to the kingdom of darkness i am not a slave to the kingdom of darkness no deposit no seed no point of contact will remain inside of me in the name of jesus i am not a slave i am not a slave of the kingdom of darkness in the name of jesus christ i am not a slave of alliances i am not a slave of thrones i am not a slave of idols i am not a slave of divinities i am not a slave of altars in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ because i am born again not of not of not of perishable seed but of imperishable in the name of Jesus Christ for I am born again not of perishable seed but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ declare in the name of Jesus that you are not a slave you are free 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 every seed every deposit every point of contact that was attaching your soul to altars declare my soul is detached in the name of Jesus Christ and my soul is separated 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 in the name of Jesus Christ begin to declare I have the seed of life I have the seed of grace I have the seed of freedom I have the seed of victory I have the seed of favor in me in the name of Jesus Christ begin to declare I have the seed of holiness inside of me I have the seed of peace I have the seed of joy I have the seed of happiness inside of me in the name of Jesus Christ begin to declare that you will not die you will live in the name of Jesus begin to declare in the name of Jesus Christ you will not die but you will live in the name of Jesus begin to declare that Jesus Christ is the guardian of your soul begin to declare that Jesus Christ is the guardian of your soul Jesus Christ is your strength Jesus Christ is your strong tower begin to declare that Jesus Christ is your refuge Jesus Christ is your protection begin to declare that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday the same today and the same forever begin to declare no evil will conquer me no plague will come near my home in the name of Jesus begin to declare no evil will conquer you and no plague will come near your home in the name of Jesus begin to declare that you are covered in his feathers you are covered by the blood of Jesus you are covered dearly beloved by his protection in the name of Jesus Christ begin to thank the Lord begin to exalt him begin to glorify him begin to magnify him begin to lift him up in the name of Jesus praise his holy name exalt his name dearly beloved glorify his name magnify him for everything that he has done thank him for the freedom he has given to you thank him for the restoration for the transformation that he has given to you thank him dearly beloved for his great power and his great strength in your life thank him dearly beloved for he is powerful thank him dearly beloved for he is the same yesterday he is the same today and he is the same forever thank him for everything that he has done thank him for everything that he is doing thank him for everything he is about to do In the name of Jesus Christ, thank him dearly beloved, exalt him, glorify him, magnify him, lift him up in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to do 
the closing prayer. Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, we thank you, Lord, for your divine intervention. We thank you, Lord, for your great power and your great strength. We thank you, Lord, because we know you are the same yesterday, the same today, and you are the same forever. We thank you, Lord, for your powerful hand. We thank you, Lord, for the freedom, for the transformation, for the restoration, for the deliverance, for the healing you have given to us through today's prayer. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the alliance that you have broken in our lives. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the curse and the condemnation that you have broken in our lives. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, because we have faith, Lord, that through today's prayer, Lord, somebody, Almighty God's burdens, has been taken away. Somebody's evil burdens, Almighty God, have been removed. Somebody's evil chains, Father, that were holding him back, has been removed. Somebody has come out of communion with the altar. Somebody's soul ties are broken. And somebody has destroyed the work of the strong man. We thank you, Lord, because you said by faith, Lord, it is impossible to please God. We thank you, Lord, because you said, Father, that by faith, Lord, we almighty God have defeated this evil world. And our victory is achieved through our faith, Lord. We thank you, Father in heaven. We bless and we celebrate your name. We seal this prayer of the blood of Jesus and we pray, Lord, for your reign to be inside of our homes. And we pray, Lord, every counterattack after this prayer be diverted back to the sender in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all where you are. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you all abundantly. Thank you very much for joining us. This was the Midnight Prayer Podcast by I Am Church London. And now is your host, brother Kevin. Shalom to you all where you are. Thank you to those of you who shared the live stream link. Those of you who are telling people about prayer. Those of you who are telling people about the podcast. May the Lord bless you all. Those of you who are evangelizing. May the Lord bless you for your work in the name of Jesus. Please do not forget to follow us on all the major streaming platforms and all the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Shalom to you all once again. I will see you guys tomorrow. For another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast, goodbye.